Greetings, Kamikaze Pro fans. This is your general manager, the mouth of the Midlands, Colin Russell Ames. And I'm here to talk to you about two very important subjects concerning our show later this year, Sky's the Limit 7 at the Mill in Digbeth, which will be on September the 10th, our first show back in front of you, the Kamikaze Pro fans. Those two subjects are the main event of that show and the Kamikaze Pro Tag Team Championships. You see, on that show, we will be crowning brand new tag team champions in the main event in a blockbuster four-corner elimination match featuring four of the very best teams that we could find from both within and outside Kamikaze Pro, all invited to compete to become the new tag team champions. I'm going to give you all four of those teams right now, ladies and gentlemen, starting off by addressing my old friends, The Bled. You see... Clint Margera, the Elliot Jordan Experience and Luke Douglas are undeniably an incredibly successful faction in Kamikaze Pro. Nobody is going to be able to say that they're not and I'm not going to stand in their way either. So I am going to give them a shot at the Tag Team Championships. However, I am going to decide which two members get that shot. And the reason for that is that the Elliot Jordan Experience is a busy man these days. He won the Over the Top Rumble on our final show before the shutdown. He earned himself a future shot at the Kamikaze Pro Championship. But in that rumble, the reason that he won was at one point he was not off the apron, but saved. He was caught by Luke Douglas before he hit the floor. At that exact same moment, Clint Margera was also not from the apron. Luke Douglas was presented with a choice and he chose Elliot. Clint Margera, the leader of the bled, was allowed to fall to the floor and was eliminated from that match. Clint didn't seem too happy at the time and I'm just worried about them. I want to make sure that the bled are okay. So to make sure that that bond is really as strong as it can be, Clint Margera and Luke Douglas will be the first team competing for the Kamikaze Pro Tag Team Championships. And speaking of the Over the Top Rumble, that also leads us to the second team in the match. You see, one man who has been a good friend of Kamikaze Pro and has been around for a couple of years now is Chuck Mambo. His friend, Mr. TK Cooper, his wonderful tag team partner, also turned up in that Rumble after a long, long time away from Kamikaze Pro. I'm very pleased to say that both of them will be back. They will be in the main event. Sunshine Machine will be the second team. Sunshine Machine recently have been very successful all around the world. You may have seen them recently even on the WWE Network. Another tag team that have been incredibly successful on those are Ethan Allen and Luke Jacobs' Young Guns. I'm delighted to say that both of them will be making their Kamikaze Pro debut at Sky Limit 7. They will be the third team in that contest. And the fourth and final team are a team that we absolutely could not refuse. We could not deny a spot in this match. Kamikaze Pro stalwarts beloved by myself and by you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, man like Doris and Dan Maloney, the 0121, make up the final spot in that match. So you have the Bled, Sunshine Machine, the Young Guns, and 0121, four corner elimination for the new Kamikaze Pro Tag Team Championships. We'll see you on September the 10th at Sky's the Limit 7 at the Mill in Digbeth. Until then, keep it pro.